All right, welcome back to San Diego Comic-Con. I am still here on the show floor, and I'm here with a very special guest who is completely distracted, can't really blame him, Mark Silvestri. What? Huh? I know, it's a... It's been trouble just getting his attention uh, ever since they arrived. They don't want to see us. Exactly. There you go. They don't care. They don't care about us. Come on. Okay. All right, guys. This is why I think we all, all you aspiring comic book people, uh, I've been doing this for years, all you aspiring comic book people who want to get in this business, that's why. All right, that's why. Look at this. Look at this. We are players. We yeah, are players. absolutely. Right? You and me. That's right, the two of us. And this is a good-looking man right here, too, so it's like I'm, I'm surrounded right now. Um, hey, welcome to San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, like you said, I'm Mark Silvestri. I'm the uh, owner and founder of Top Cow Productions up there. And uh, these are a couple of things that we've uh, put out. And as you can see, comics rock. They rock hard. So, it's starting to draw quite yeah, a crowd around this. here. This is all good. Yeah, this is all good. Uh, yeah, so uh, obviously with 2K Games here, it's like we've uh, got a little association with The Darkness. Yeah, Mark uh, wrote The Darkness, yeah. and uh, and Darkness 2 came out in February, February I yeah. think it was February, that's yeah. right. And to a big uh, fanfare. And, and uh, I ha the last time I spoke to you was at PAX, so mm -hmm. uh, we haven't even talked since the, uh, since the game came out. Yeah. And so... What was it like having the, the Darkness 2 finally come out and get to see people's reactions? It was amazing. You know, it's like it, the most fun thing I did at PAX was just hang around because you guys had a lot of kiosks. Yeah, we had our little play. booth. You were there doing right. signings for a long time. Yeah, and you guys had the Xboxes set up and the games. I just loved watching people play the game. I loved watching their reactions. I loved to go, oh, shit. And I loved the sadistic glee you get out of tearing people in half. And it's like... You guys did such a great job with both the Darkness One and the Darkness Two. Why? Well, thank you. Oh no, it, it awesome. was it was all me. No, that, uh, I, it was. Not wasn't really. It? There are yeah. a lot of people involved. <laughs> oh, we want to cut to the girls again? Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> for anyone that didn't finish, hey, where's Emily? Emily, Darkness get in there. Two. Get in there. Uh, big spoiler alert. This is. Uh, oh no, I forgot the name oh, of the character. This is That's the Angelus. Angelus. Yes. Uh, big if you spoiler didn't finish alert. Darkness Two. Shame on you. Uh, but. Uh, Evangelist is oh, revealed look, at the end fine. of a Darkness 2 if you oh, wait look, through the credits. Oh, look, she's away right now. Nice. That's right. Oh, articulated wings. That's it. It's pretty great. More articulate than I am. Isn't that badass? This is Aphrodite 9, another one of our Top Cow characters who is part of the new Cyber Force launch, which if you go on Kickstarter, we're doing something very, very interesting. We're actually rebooting Cyber Force and relaunching it as a comic book for free. I hadn't seen that. Absolutely I'm always for free. On, I'm on Kickstarter every single day. I'm yes. going to have to go check that one Kickstarter, out. Kickstarter launches um, on Monday or Tuesday. But go to Kickstarter, and the basic idea is that donate something for a really cool thought, a really cool cause. We're going to be giving away Cyberforce as a free digital and a free print comic for five full issues. Pay nothing. There is no price on the cover. It's just free. You go to any comic book shop. Say, hey, how's that Cyber Force book? How much is it? The guy's going to tell you, you know what? It's free. It's nothing. That's pretty great. That's no one's it. ever done that before. I was about to ask if anyone's yeah. ever done that no before. No one's ever done that. I've never heard of that. People do Kickstarter things, and it's like it, for a noble cause. They have a project. If it's interesting, people donate, uh, but then they go sell it. What we're going to do is like, it's a noble cause. If you're interested, donate, but it's going to be free. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah. We want That's your help to make unusual. it free. It's I'll like, go back it once I, as yeah. soon as I get back to the office. Exactly. I mean, years ago, um, you know, before paper, <laughs> when I was younger, uh, there was, you know, PBS. And there was a show on uh, PBS that you could only get on PBS, which is public broadcasting, which is all uh, donated funds to keep the uh, network running. Uh, There's a, a show called Monty Python's Flying Circus. And the only place you could see it was on PBS. And the whole idea behind PBS is that people give money and they help support what PBS is about. The shows they want to see, no commercials. We're kind of taking that model and doing on Kickstarter with the relaunch of Cyberforce helps support the project, helps support Cyberforce because it's going to be free. Anyone can download it anywhere, including the torrent sites, because the genie's out of the bottle. It's going to happen anyway. So go ahead, look at it online if you prefer, go to a comic book shop, it's still going to be free. Full color, full length comic, 32 page comic book, for five months in a row. 
free. And Afro 99 is part of that relaunch. So we're going to have some fun. And over here, this beautiful woman right here, this is Emily Lazar, who is going to be the star of our other incredible project called September Morning up there, which we're doing in tandem with MTV. And it's going to be a true cross-media, transmedia, platform-destroying uh, story uh, of Emily and her music. She's actually a hard rockin', uh, heavy metal musician. Uh, the band is actually called September Morning. And we're creating a character based off of exactly who she is. And the story is going to span not only comic books, but also webisodes via MTV, which will be a hybrid of live action and animation, uh, but also in her music, in her albums, and her live performances. It'll all be story-based, and all will intertwine with each other. And it's going to be badass and really cool. Also, well, social you media. You guys have a whole bunch of stuff, cool oh, yeah. stuff lined up. Yeah, we're not chimps. We're not I, hanging I around. I thought we were just going to talk about the darkness. <laughs> no, we, we got plenty of time for that. They got nothing else to do. Who else are you going to talk to? Robert Downey Jr.? Come on. What has he done? Jeez. Look at this. Does he look like that? No. Come on. Yeah, that is, a, that is an advantage that you guys have right <laughs> here at your booth. So let's talk. Uh, yeah, so uh, you've been here uh, all the the entire time since yes. this, the whole since Comic Con. Oh my God, how many days has it been now? Uh, it started on Wednesday. That's right. So you were here yeah. for preview night as well. Yep. The whole yep. time. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, Comic Con has become. I don't know how, how many years you've been coming. Here. Uh, this is my first Comic Con. <laughs> Are you serious? I've been to PAX and PAX East and E3 a whole bunch of times for all of those. But Comic Con, Comic-Con Virgin, right Comic-Con here. Comic Con is, is wow. Never... You went. You know, you, this is one of those virgins that didn't like lose it to the love of their life in high school. This is a guy that ran into a full-on gangbang. Because this is San Diego Comic-Con. All right? You lost it to like a group full of people. All right? This uh, is the it doesn't get any nuttier than this. Don't well, don't, I got to say I'm afraid actually, of the truth. I'm actually really impressed with Comic-Con. I mean, yeah. like I said, I've been to I've been to the Paxes, I've been to uh, to E3, mm-hmm. and I mean after going to E3 professionally, Come I on. I actually would not want to go there for fun. It is I mean, it's it's a it's a trade show. It's a business yeah. event. This place this has fun. been so cool. Look I around. love the look variety. At, look at how of all fun this stuff. is right here. Come on, this is awesome. I mean, awesome. you got look at that. The amount awesome. of enthusiasm that all the the fans here is more right. than any of the other conventions I've seen. It right? is it is really cool. Right? It's mean, also it, larger than any of the others. It's crazy. Unbelievably it's crazy. large. But you know what? It's it's a a festival of people that just love to pretend and they love the whole wish fulfillment aspect of comic books and video games. Uh, it's, San Diego Comic Con is truly a, a the mecca of pop culture. It didn't used to be this way. Uh, I've been coming here for 22 years. Wow. Yeah, and the big switch happened about you know 11, 12 years ago, and certainly 10 years ago, um, where suddenly Hollywood and the rest of the world discovered what all of us comic fans have known for years, that comics kick ass. And now, with digital technologies, you know, Spider-Man can actually look pretty cool climbing a, a wall. Which he didn't, you know, a few years ago. In the, in the early days yeah. of, yeah, no. he didn't. So finally, Hollywood, as you can see, has caught up with what we've known, you know, for years and years and years. And Comic Con is a celebration of that. You know, it's a big cluster, you know, but it's a fun cluster. It really is, and it's like there's so much enthusiasm and so much love for the genre, and we've had so much love for the darkness at Comic Con. Uh, we when we premiered The Darkness 2 here last year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. My uh, The other community manager, I believe uh, 2K David, was here yeah. last year. Uh-huh. And that's why I wasn't here. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, so he got to experience it. And he yeah. warned me. He tried to warn me <laughs> what it would be like. Warn. But you can't, uh, and you can't you're right. describe it. Can't, can't yeah. describe it. I mean, we're bringing it to everyone live, and we're trying yeah. to show all this stuff. I don't think the true, just how gigantic no. it is. And, comes and you, have, you have to feel it. You have to smell it. You gotta like just be it. You, know, you got you gotta make the trip out here. If, if you're a fan of of uh, the superhero genre or the action adventure genre, I mean you're gonna have to make the trek out here at some point in your life. We have people. I've met people all weekend from Australia, from Japan, from uh, all areas of Europe, um, from the Middle East. It's like just who make the special trip to San Diego just to be here. And for us, it's like thank you. You know, I mean. Thank you for loving comic books. Thank you for loving video games. Thank you for your support of all things Top Cow. Two uh, K just—they did an amazing job on the darkness. You guys, if you have not checked out the game yet, you have to because, well, 
she's in it for one thing. It's like, like that's yeah. worth the price of a mission for a, for a moment. <laughs> she's in it, yes. yeah. She's in. That was that was a great. Yeah. That was that's a all great you can handle deal. of this yeah. is a moment, right? You can't handle any more than that. Yeah. Uh, and of course, Aphrodite again. It's like, uh, but we appreciate the love of um, all things Top Cow, and again, the darkness has been a great success for us. On that note, also, uh, we have announced here at San Diego that the darkness is going to be a feature film, and not just a director video, not just oh, kind of do we have a budget for this, but a major motion picture. Uh, we also just announced that uh, Mr. Len Wiseman is on board. Uh, you guys may have heard from about him from Underworld, and he's got some movie coming out called Total Recall uh, this year. Uh, yeah, but, you can't help but walk five yeah. feet through outside. They got ad, they got their oh, yeah. banners all yeah. over the place. It's yeah. pretty cool. So we're incredibly excited that uh, Len is now part of the Top Cow and uh, Darkness movie. And uh, we hope that uh, people will enjoy uh, everything that we have coming up. And, uh, again, the 2K game, the Darkness 1 and Darkness 2, brilliant. Yeah, you guys have no excuse not to play it. I mean, go buy it. You can get it on Steam right now. And it's yeah. uh, it's it's pretty inexpensive, yeah. and you can and you can go play it, play it right now, and yeah. then and then you'll know what Mark is talking about, and Absolutely. you'll get to see her, and you get to see her. Yeah, you got to play all the way to the end, though. So, you but play it's all worth the, way the, the wait and wait through the credits. Yes, you have some to people wait didn't the realize to wait through the. Yeah. These days, you got to wait through the credits with everything because you never know. Yeah, and we have a know. great Easter egg at the end of the credits, especially fans of the darkness already. <laughs> go through the credits; you won't be disappointed. It's for you, so. I don't know. You guys want to talk about anything else, or uh... Uh, you know, I got a I got a question for you. This is a, just a personal question, but yeah. uh, whatever. Uh, I was telling the guy at uh, Mile High Comics the other day how, mm -hmm. that um, you know I'm just starting to get into comic books. I read uh, Why the Last yeah, Man. Yeah, you're a little late to the game. I'm a little late yeah. to the game, but I'm yeah. I'm trying to repent for <laughs> for my sins. It's a good place to start, right here. And I'm wondering uh, what of, of all the different right. uh, ones See? you guys have got. Artifacts. Where should I start? I think you should start with all of them. Uh, just all of them at the same yeah. time. You know, Artifacts. Issue, issue one of each yeah, one. Yeah, artifacts, which we're looking at right now. Oh, look, this is Aphrodite right here. Wow, that's pretty cool. Artifacts is a great place to start because it's kind of a Top Cow Universe book, which kind of uh, shows uh, what we're all about. Uh, what we did recently, which unlike some other companies that destroy universes, um, just bring them back as they always were, we're not that way. We just destroyed the Top Cow Universe, and it ain't coming back the way it was. So basically what happened, and you'll be interested in this, because Jackie Estacado, the darkness himself, has much to do with this. All right. Uh, essentially, yes, essentially, Jackie found out another ability that he had he didn't realize he had with the darkness. And he's a guy who's been tortured his whole life, obviously. He lost the love of his life with Jenny. And the only thing he's ever wanted to be was happy. And she was always going to be the linchpin of that. So Jackie, I don't want to spoil it too much, but Jackie, if you pick up artifacts in the Top Cow books around that time, what happened is he had the opportunity to remake the world the way he wanted. So basically, he rebooted everything so that he could be happy. Now, we know what that means. Yeah, with right? Jackie, that's not going to be... That's not a good idea. Yeah, no. Right? Best case scenario... I wouldn't want to be in that world. You wouldn't want to be in that world. And, of course, it's a monkey's paw. So Jackie wishes for what he's always wanted, but... You know what? There's details that you kind of have to pay attention to. So we have a lot of fun in the Top Cow universe now where it's been reborn through his vision, and we all have to deal with that fact. So it's actually very, very cool. The Darkness Now is being uh, written by David Hine, drawn by Jeremy Hahn, and it's a, a great place to jump on, which would be the Darkness 101, uh, where they get on there. And uh, it, you know, it's an awesome book. And anyone who's a fan of the video game, uh, Check out the book. Yeah, because I was a huge yeah. fan of Darkness 2. You know, yeah. I, I told people, yes, I work at the company that made Darkness 2. Uh, so people were like, well, of course you're going to say you like it. I really, really liked that so game. Did I. I mean, yeah. it was it it's was uh, it was really cool. Yeah. The way you control the darkness and mm -hmm. the arms and just everything about it. Yeah. I really liked and it made I me agree. love the character. Yeah. Uh, Jackie, I like it. Well, I mean, you love him. Yeah, you can. You, you love, love him because you a, get it you in know, a particular way. Yeah, yeah. you get that because he's part of all of us. You know, all of us have that part of Jack Estacado in us because it's part of our humanity. That dark part of us is our humanity, <laughs> uh, but it's controlled by a moral compass that we have. And all of our everything that we get angry about, everything that we can't control, it doesn't manifest itself physically. But for Jackie, it does. 
And that's what makes it so interesting that's to see. So and, cool. and you go, man, I, I would not want that power, if you would right. call it a power. I would not want that curse. Yeah, it's, it's, that, it's that gift curse yeah. uh, that, I, that I love personally in all kinds of heroes. And the thing that makes Jackie a hero, which I, uh, it's kind of subliminal, but uh, this is what people are really responding to, is that Jackie Estacado, uh, in spite of himself, is heroic every day. Because if he actually let the darkness do what it's going to do, we'd all be screwed. So he has to make this constant battle, internal fight, do the right thing as best as he knows how. You know, as human beings, we all do the best we can as we know how. And Jack is just really an extreme version of that. He's not Superman. You know, right, he's just no. the opposite. You know, Jackie didn't land on Earth from another planet with these incredible powers and just wound up having the most incredible foster parents you could ever ask for. That didn't happen with Jackie. It's just the opposite. You know, and I think that's what makes him far more heroic than a lot of other characters is that he came from so little. Not only so little, but he had all the cards stacked against him. And I think... And, the Darkness 2 game really explores that well. Yeah, it does. Which is like you said, you, you like the guy, you're pulling for him. Yeah, you're absolutely rooting yeah. for him. And, yeah. and, and All this murder the Darkness mayhem. is such an interesting villain because it's so yeah. kind of amorphous, mm -hmm. but it's a part of the hero, and, yeah. it, and that's that's what I like is that, yeah. you know, it's, you're, the, you're it's gonna, the same character who is, is. kind of both. Yeah. I mean, the Darkness is its own character, but it's, yeah. it's a part of Jackie in a unique way. You're not going to find a lot of characters out there whose power is a character. Yeah, Jackie Estacado's darkness power is a sentient thing. It's something that we're all made of. And it has its own desires and wants and has its own will. Unfortunately for them, uh, and us rather, it's very twisted. You know, so Jackie really is a hero. You know, he's, he's trying to save himself, obviously, and trying to do the right thing. But if he doesn't, we're all kind of screwed. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to have to pick up the, yes. uh, the, the name of it was uh, Artifacts. Artifacts is good way to start and of course Cyberforce is coming out in October and it's free so please everyone you know hit Kickstarter we launch on uh, Tuesday I believe of next week just see what we're talking about uh, help us make this a free book help us kind of change the paradigm a little bit in comics um, it's an experiment we'd like you guys to join uh, we think it's going to be really cool and work um, but you know what Top Cow Comics Top Cow Productions we're just having a good time and we want you guys to have a good time with us uh, but, sir, Thanks. let's get some swag for you. you uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Free stuff. Get you started. Get you uh, going back. I, I would like that very All much. Right. Awesome. And Kona's Corner. I think the right guy to talk and to. And 2K. You guys rock. This is fucking sweet. This is just sweet. <laughs> Seriously, you guys rock. 2K, you guys, you did proud. You made it happen. And um, we're just really having a great time. Thanks, All guys. Right. Thank you. Absolutely. And we'll head on back to the uh, Hard Rock Hotel where... Uh, Ronnie and Sasha, I think they're actually, no, you know, one of them's coming. I don't remember who's back. Someone's at the Hard Rock Hotel. We're going to go to them.